watching Channel 4, the local station, live with Mary Bear, Kent Justice, the Weather Authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist John Gaughan, sports analysis with Cole Pepper, and breaking news with Sky 4. The 10 o'clock news continues. The number of new COVID cases is surging in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. And the CDC says the places with the highest rates of new cases also have the lowest vaccination rates. Health officials warn low vaccination rates can be deadly when combined with the Delta variant of COVID-19. The last time all 50 states saw a rise in new cases was in early January when fewer than a million people were fully vaccinated. The White House is calling out social media platforms about COVID-19 misinformation. They're killing people. I mean, it really, they are, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. The rapid increase in COVID cases has medical experts concerned, especially with children going back to school soon. Yeah, today I spoke with the president of the Duval County Medical Society Foundation, who says school districts may need to rethink their safety policies for the new school year. We're starting to see the numbers go up. And that is incredibly concerning to see the spike the way it's going up right now as well. It's not just a gradual increase. I mean, these numbers are spiking. Dr. Sunil Joshi from Jacksonville spoke with me during an immunology conference in Orlando today. The founder of Family Allergy and Asthma Consultant says it's not shocking to see the surge in coronavirus cases because the Delta variant of COVID-19 is so virulent. Regions where vaccinations are lower seem to be affected even more. And so here in Duval County, where we're roughly at a 42% vaccination rate, our cases are spiking at a much higher rate than they are in other parts of the country where vaccination rates are higher. Um, and so, no, I don't think we saw that coming to see Jacksonville in particular um, be one of the most heavily hit parts of Florida. What does that mean for the youngest population unable to get vaccinated yet and scheduled to resume in-person school in a matter of weeks? Dr. Joshi says there are legitimate concerns. If numbers of positive tests were increasing, you know, when the numbers are 5% positive, um, that's a decent level of community spread. When you're at 18 and 19% positive, the community spread is now significant. And so when you have a group of children who aren't vaccinated, those that are between kindergarten and fifth grade, sixth grade or seventh grade, it seems to me that there needs to be a reconsideration as to whether or not those groups of children should at least have masks. Ahead at 11, Dr. Joshi's message directly to anyone between 20 and 30 years old who has not gotten vaccinated yet.